Hey guys, it's Excellent here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to quickly teach you how to install my custom sky domes. I'm going to make this tutorial very short and sweet. Just before we start, I do want to mention that this is a paid mod and you need my Excellent exclusive tier from either my Patreon or my website. So, as you can see, you can either download the file from my Patreon or my website here. This was send you to a Google Drive link and you want to just download the file. Once you have the file downloaded, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have WinRAR downloaded. If you don't have WinRAR downloaded, what you want to do is go into Google and you want to search up WinRAR download, click on the first link, and then you just download it here. So after you've got WinRAR downloaded, now we can go ahead and extract the actual file. In the, the Patreon or website post, I do give an encrypted password. And so you will, you will need to use WinRAR to enter the actual password. If you do not use WinRAR, it won't extract properly and you'll get an error and the actual skydomes won't show up in game so you can either extract this by double clicking WinRAR and then extracting I tend to just right click go to WinRAR and then extract to Silicate Skydomes once you do that you want to enter the password click OK and that will go ahead and extract the actual skydomes so after that's extracted, you want to open the folder, and now we want to go into the circle so root folder. I usually have this saved on my quick access. If you don't know where this is, you want to head up. You want to open up Steam, head over to Library, Circle so If you right-click and go to Properties, Installed Files, and then click Browse. So once you have that open, it's just as simple as dragging the extension folder into the circle so root folder, just like this. You want to make sure you drag it into an empty space where it says move to a cursor. If you accidentally drag it into another folder, this will completely mess up your game and you'll just get a lot of issues down the line. Now you want to go in game. So before we go in game, you want to make sure you have pure downloaded. I did forget to mention this at the start of the video, but I'm sure most of you already have this downloaded. You can use either Pure Gamma or Pure, Pure LCS. Uh, the Skyrim support both of them. And also just to mention, I do tend to run the latest versions of Pure. And also I recommend running at least version 3.0 and above. Sweet, now that we're in game, we can go ahead and enable the actual Skydomes. To do this, you want to go to the right hand side, find the Pure Config app, open it, go to the Clouds tab, and then here you have the Skydome sets. You want to go ahead and click Exilitate Skydomes. This will load instantly and now the Skydomes are enabled. Then after that, click Save. This will save the actual config. So then every time you go in game, it will enable the Skydomes. If you're on a version prior to version 3.0 for the CSB, this will not save for some reason there's a bug. So make sure you're on versions 3.0 and above for CSB and obviously for Pure. So after enabling the Skydomes, not a lot of people know how to actually configure the clouds. To do this, it's very simple and it's all handled in the Pure Planner app. So you want to go to the right hand side, find Pure Planner. And here you'll be able to control the date, time and the actual weather. If you click anywhere on the screen here, you'll be able to change the weather presets. So for example, I can change it to scattered clouds, broken clouds, and so on. So now I'm going to cover some of the most popular sky domes. If you wanted to use the auroras or the northern lights, you want to make sure you have the scattered clouds preset checked, and then set the time to night. Give this a few seconds to load, and now you have the northern lights. Here is also a few examples of some nice sunset sky domes. So this is Broken Clouds at Sunset. And if you go a little bit lower, you'll get this one. A few clouds. Don't forget to smash that like button if you found this video helpful. I am working on a lot more tutorials soon, so stay tuned for those. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night, and peace.